parade, rest. Welcome to Civil War Digital Digest. I'm Will. We're up on the Terraplin Historic Fort Wayne in Detroit. And today we want to talk with you about drill. It's a conversation that many thousands of soldiers who came through here for the Civil War had while they were here training. Today we're going to talk about one specific maneuver, reverse arms. Now don't go looking in a drill manual, you won't find it there. You're going to find this in the U.S. Army regulations and it caused questions during the war and it causes questions today. The problem is, is the position of reverse arms is well described in the regs, but there's no description how to get there. What was reverse arms used for? It was part of the funeral ceremonies and used sometimes in military discipline as seen in some period photos. As far as the military funeral, here's one story about seeing reverse arms in camp. I was one of the eight selected as the escort for the body, and I was much impressed with the solemnity and beauty of the military burial. The procession was formed at the hospital, the escort first with arms reversed. Oliver Wilcox Norton, 83rd Pennsylvania Infantry. Well, sad though it is, marking the life of a fellow comrade is part of the soldier's life in the Civil War. Let's learn how to do this. The men then had really good questions, as do we. How do you do this? Officers had a publication where they could talk back and forth called the Army and Navy Journal, and there was a discussion in there in the mid-1860s about how to do this. Three different systems were proposed. The one we're going to teach today goes with another episode we're doing on rest on arms. It's from Colonel S. of the 2nd Regiment Veteran Reserve Corps. We picked this because the maneuvers are very common between the two, so when you learn rest on arms and reverse arms, it will be easier for you. Let's watch it once. Attention, squad. Shoulder, arms. Reverse, arms. Two, three. Shoulder, arms. Two, three. Reverse, arms. When the execution command arms is given, reach across your body with your left arm and grasp the weapon at the lower band. Make sure your palm faces out or to the front. Do not change the grip of your right hand. Now, turn the piece to the left or counterclockwise as you view it until the weapon is perpendicular to the ground with the barrel pointed down. When you do this, keep the piece close to your body. Let the barrel turn loosely in your left hand. Most of the control is in your right hand. Incline the muzzle forward a little to keep from hitting the man's weapon next to you. End with the weapon before the center of your body. Two. Next, move the piece under the left arm. Keep the ramrod uppermost and the back of the left hand resting on the back of the hip. Make sure you now hold the weapon firmly with your right hand. Let go with your left hand and grasp the small of the stock with your left hand. Roll your left wrist so the back of your hand faces forward. Be sure to press the piece firmly against your body with the left elbow. Three. Let go with your right hand. Note this is the first time the right hand moves from the trigger guard. Move your right hand behind the back. Seize the piece again between the middle and lower bands. Keep the back of the right hand downward. Your right hand will rest across the back just above the hips. Shoulder. Arms. Returning to shoulder arms also has three motions to it. Keep the musket pressed tightly against your body with the left elbow. Release the right hand, bring it around front of your body, and grasp the trigger guard as you would hold it at shoulder arms. Let go of the small of the stock with your left hand and grasp the musket at the lower band. Make sure when you do this that your palm is pointed up and your thumb over the stock. Two. Now bring the piece in front of you. Hold the weapon with the butt up and perpendicular to the ground. Turn it to the right, keeping the piece close to the body and letting it turn loosely in the left hand, obliquing the muzzle slightly to the front in turning. As with going two reverse arms, your right hand does most of the work controlling the weapon here. End the second motion with your weapon perpendicular to the ground and the butt down and barrel to the rear. It is still opposite the center of your body. Three. Carry the piece to the right shoulder and drop the left hand by the side. Now that we've seen how to perform reverse arms, Let's watch it one more time, stopping at the end of each motion. Reverse arms. Two. Three. Shoulder. Arms. Two. 
three. And there you have it. Reverse arms out of the U.S. regulations. We hope you learned a little bit here and something that you can use for a memorial ceremony, whether for a fallen comrade or whether a memorial service for the boys of 1861. Thank you for spending your time with Civil War Digital Digest. If you've enjoyed the episode, do us a favor. Hit like here on the episode and share it out to your friends. We want to say thanks to the folks who are supporting us at Patreon. It's making a real difference in our ability to bring these episodes to you. We'll see you in a few weeks.